Alrighty guys, the XCON here, and the Star Wars Day stuff continues with our final video today of, which is going to be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um, so yeah, let's see this is a game that's very well praised. Um, I have never played it before. Um, Played plenty of Star Wars games. The reason I probably can play this is because it's on the Xbox, and I didn't own an Xbox. Um, so you know, yeah, I will be playing this on PC. Um, fact, mess with the sound. Quick, man, there's music. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, um, I don't know how long this video will be, probably around 20 minutes, um, and after this I don't know when I will continue to let's play, um, so yeah, we're just gonna go right into it, um, so I'll see there's Scoundrel, Scout, and Soldier, Battle Ready, Fighter of New, Cool, in Combat. An explorer, most at home on the fringes of space. A skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and gil gil yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go soldier. Uh, just gonna customize the character. I guess I'll just go with this one. Attributes. Uh, got 30. Put some in the strength. Um, put some in there. I have eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I guess uh, I'll just put one in now. Oh. Okay, I see there's cost to all of them. All right, well, put some in the Persuade, uh, treat injury, awareness, put one more into awareness, <coughs> and, uh, computer use, yes, this, okay. Granted the following feats. Alright. Okay. Alright. Running feats one.
looks like this is more one-handed combat from the looks of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna add dueling. Alright, name. I have to think of a good name. Random name. Also has to feel something like it is Star Wars. Something would be a Star Wars Z name. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> um some random names. For gas. My real name. Just seeing when these last names, I'll just put it in there. I'm going in a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars. Knights of the Old Republic. Four thousand years before the rise of the Galactic Empire. The Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malik, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord, Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malik's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taris, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate eff effort to hold the Sith's galactic domination. Dot, 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 dot. Alright. Could you mention this real quick? I am using it. Mod, you could say, for 1080p for this game. So, if things do look a little wonky, that's why. Ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? 
The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastil is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Alright. Um. And I am most likely going to be doing a. A, uh. Um, Jedi, let's play. Uh, come on, we have to hurry. Put your all right, I know I put my equipment on. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Alright, Trask has joined the party. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. Left-click my portrait now to switch me to the party leader, then use me to open the door. Left-click to target the door, then left-click it again with the mouse to open it. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. All right. That door is locked. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. Left-clicking the mouse activates the selected combat feet. Uh, characters' available combat feats appear in the first icon of the target menu. Alright. I've got a feeling that won't be 
our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. I don't use. use an item like a med pack or another self-targeting item or power. You'll need to know how to use your action menu. In the lower right of the screen, you'll see a list of icons. This is your action menu. You can select items from this menu by using the mouse. Left click the icon you want to use to activate that power or item. Clicking on the arrows above and below the icon will cycle to other powers or items in that list. The first icon of the action menu is for friendly force powers. The second is for medical items such as med packs and antidote kits. The third icon is for miscellaneous items such as stimulants and energy shields. The fourth icon is for mines and only appears if you have a mine in your inventory and have the demolition skill. This guy did the door. Okay, maybe not. What? No, fine. Combat? I give my self that too much. Alright, which way am I? I'm guessing you go this way. One of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have used her help. Wow. 
What are you doing? They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. All right. Left click on the character record menu. Um, character. Okay, maybe I should have. Uh... Left click on the character record menu icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Then follow the instructions given on the screen. Okay, character record. I'm guessing this is character record. Okay, I obviously haven't pulled up yet. So... I'm guessing I have to... Sure. Ah, uh, okay. Level up. Alright, I guess. behind here damn another dark jedi i'll try to hold him off you get to the escape pods go uh very safe pods all right 
Copper here. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. All right, where are they? Okay. some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. Alright. Do this. Just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left on the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. All right. This is the last exit pod, and your only hope of survival. Hmm, nice looking cutscene. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you on the escape pod, you remember? Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Sith? Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. 
but I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit, but it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't wanna go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier. Let's move out. All right. And that's where I will be ending this one off um, today. Uh, next part, um, I don't know when I will do another uh, part. Um, obviously, I I will eventually be doing. Uh, another part, but yeah, for now. Anyways, I've been next one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ah!